Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Ha Kudash, double understood the elders and the apostles that do well over in the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to Achim. Wa Akwath, which are you brothers and sisters that are pushing the word in truth and sincerity. All right. Yahweh in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah in the name of the only begotten Son, and the Racha Kodash being the Holy Spirit, all in the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashawan Kodash. This is your servant Yaikwa of the command of Great Millstone Atlanta Church, we we'll listen of exhortation, edification. All right. I want to do a, a quick lesson touching up. On Deuteronomy, the 15th, excuse me, the 16th chapter in the 21st verse. Um, and this really is a cut to Christianity. You know, I see where the spirit is going as far as the apologia and us giving our reasoning against all the, the, the strongholds of our people's mind. And one of those strongholds is Christianity. But Christianity is really dead. It's almost a dead religion at this point. Um, it's been sought out and found to be illegitimate, ingenuine, and unordained. And just another example dealing with the scriptures of the Bible proving these matters. So what I'm reading out of, because here, of course, we uh, chiefly go out of the um, King James Bible, but we read all, all forms and sorts of translations um, to bring forth a clear edification. This is the... Um, Aitaza Chayayam, which in the Hebrew, Aitaza uh, means tree, Chayayam means life. So this is that's the, net, the title of this book is the Tree of Life. Essentially, um, it has different chapters from the Old Testament of the Hebrew and the English, and different scholar annotations. And I want to touch up on the scripture and certain annotations and regarding. This scripture in Deuteronomy, which completely confounds Christianity. So let's get a pointer. All right. It says, um, this is Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 21. It says, one second, make sure it's, it's clear enough. Shalakia. Yeah. There we go. I hope that's a little better. All right. So this is Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 21. You shall, excuse me, you shall not set up a sacred post. Any kind of pole beside the altar of Yahweh, your God or your power, that you may make or erect a stone pillar for such Yahweh, or as it says, the Lord, your God detests. And detests means hate. So let's go into this um, post and pole that's been spoken of. So let's see uh, the different annotations. All right. So it says, going into the post, the sacred post, it says, a standing wooden object. At a place of worship is not the Christian cross a standing wooden object at a place of worship that it is right there in the law and the foundation of the Constitution of the nation of Israel of the Bible. It is clear that that is prohibited. As you see, three worship prohibitions which means outlaw. It says, such objects seem to have been associated with Canaanite deities. Deuteronomy bans them from sanctuaries of the Lord because their presence might eventually lead to the Israelites to blur the distinctions between Israelite and Canaanite religions. And that's what's taking place right now. Our people think they're righteous in Christianity because Christianity 
actually they have the Bible, but they don't apply it and they don't use it and they don't follow it. And so our people are thinking they're serving the living God. They're thinking they're serving the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But truly and honestly, they're, church, they're, they're serving the world when, they're, when they serve the religion Christianity. Now, the Bible is legitimate, but the religion Christianity is a foul concoction that came about thousands of years after the book of Deuteronomy and over 300 years after the death of the Messiah, the anointed, Mashiach Yahweh Shai. So this has nothing to do with the oracles and the testimonies of Yahweh Shai. All right. It goes back to different um, Babylonian Greek gods, all right, which essentially are the same gods, Egyptian gods, so on and so forth. All right. So I'm going to continue to read. It says. All right. Any kind of pole, literally any tree like object, whether a natural object or an artificial tree or a pole, this comprehensive ban prevents anyone from claiming that the prohibition covers only certain objects of this type and that others are legitimate. None of them are legitimate. In the places of our worship, it is prohibited to have any erected, uh, because it's an idol. The Christian cross is an idol. All right. If you want to bear a cross, how about you sacrifice and suffer for the testimony of Yahweh Shah? That's how you bear your cross. Otherwise, it's shenanigans and it will profit to no avail. All right. So as I said, just want to get a quick lesson in. I can go on more um, going into the pillars, but... That's the point I want to bring forth concerning Christianity, all right, and the Christian cross. So once again, another stripe against Christianity, another loss, another battle defeated, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Giving all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rucha Kodash, Shalom, and keep the faith.